My handwriting is not that good. Very demure, very mindful. My name is Lily, and I'm trying to achieve financial freedom through real estate investing and starting my own businesses. And this channel is where I document that journey. So today you're going to come with me as we go check out an Airbnb that had its first ever guest last night. So we're going to go check and see how they left the place. And then in the last vlog, we were cleaning out and getting the first round of furnishings in a property that was completely trashed by a long term tenant. So now we're putting that on Airbnb to see if it's a better experience. We spent about $850 yesterday on that first round of furnishings and we have a couple more things to finish up. So we're gonna go shopping for that stuff and then head over to that house and get absolutely as much done as possible so that we can get the Wi-Fi installed tomorrow, get the electrician over there to install a stove top, and then hopefully have that thing listed in the next 24 to 48 hours. Right now I am out on the kayak, just enjoying a little bit of a peaceful morning with my journal and some sun, um, and then we're gonna get to work. Found it. I feel like these are super cute. Like I'm the type of person to like drink out of mason jars at my own house. It's like little cute ones with a handle. All right, we had our first ever guest at this Airbnb last night. So they were only here for one night and let's see how they left it. They said they were on a cross country road trip. We had some snacks laid out here. So it looks like they took those and they took the waters and sodas that we had for them. So that's good. Oh, that was nice of them. They've got their used towels down here so that we can get them washed. I need to add into our checkout instructions what to leave the AC on. They've got it super low, which no big deal. They just checked out this morning. Bathroom looks pretty clean, although that's the hall bathroom. They have used the bottom bunk in there and uh, a super interesting I can't really tell if they used this bed or not. I wonder why they went. This bathroom, that shower looks used, it's wet. All right. I mean, they left it super nice. We'll get all the bedding and stuff washed by the cleaners. And um, here's how much money we made from this one night stay. Since this unit is brand new, we've got the pricing a bit lower than we will eventually raise it to. Okay, there's a couple of things that I want to add. So we've got a couple of hangers for each closet. And then I got these storage baskets and I'm gonna break them up between the, do the different bathrooms. We got some travel toothbrushes in case they forget theirs. A little thing of, what's that called? toothpaste, some Q-tips, some cotton balls, and then like just some sanitary products, you know, like pads and tampons in case they forgot theirs. I think there's definitely a risk of like, will people just steal what's there? Like, will, will somebody take the toothbrush even if they don't need it? I think that's definitely a risk, but I think there's also like, in Airbnb, your reviews are everything. And so that risk I'm trying to balance against will someone who like really needs that thing and if it is here when they're here, will they like be that much more inclined to leave a great review because we provided that for them. So we'll see. Then I also got this cute little like standing whiteboard. I'm gonna write like the welcome. I'm gonna write the Wi-Fi information as well as a note to enjoy the snacks and the cold drinks in the fridge and that five star reviews are our goal. My handwriting is not that good. I'm gonna have to focus. All right, my handwriting is perfect, but I think that is a pretty good start and a good welcome. I'm really interested to see where these Airbnbs take me. I've tried out a lot of different real estate investing strategies, 
I started with house hacking my duplex where I live in one unit and rent out the other. And then I went to wholesaling to build up my capital. Then I started keeping those properties that I was finding. And instead of wholesaling them, I used the Burr method to renovate them and keep them as rentals. And I've kind of been chilling with like 10 short-term rentals or 10 long-term rentals for the last like year and a half or so as interest rates went up, I just held on to my rentals and, and kept them as I had them. As I turn more properties into Airbnbs, I can just, you know, take those to them. But as I got this property, which was always intended to be an Airbnb, we had a bad experience with a tenant in one of our garage apartments. And I was asking you guys like, what do you think I should do with it? Should I short-term rent it? Try to find another tenant. That rent is $700 a month. And because it's a, it's a garage apartment, it, it feels super easy to furnish, right? You don't need a lot of furniture to furnish a garage apartment. And so now I have like all these Airbnbs coming online. I'm super interested to see what happens with them. I actually have another garage apartment that a tenant just moved out of. And so now I'm like, okay, do we get another tenant in there? Do we Airbnb that? And it's a strong belief of mine that like, Real estate investing is about being able to use multiple exit strategies, right? Like wholesaling is just one thing to do with a property. Using the burst strategy, just one thing. House hacking it, airbnb it, Airbnb arbitrage. These are all just exit strategies. So I'm excited to show you guys a new one on this channel. The cleaner will be through here shortly and then we're gonna head to the other Airbnb and get that one to like 98% furnished and ready to go. So it looks like my parents are already here. Yesterday we did a ton of work. We cleaned up the place as well as moved in the first round of furnishings. This is the main house. It's also empty and I'm thinking about putting it on Airbnb, but I'm getting this one up ASAP. And this is the garage apartment in the back. So yeah, let's check and see, but I think they're here. Hello. Hello. Howard. What it do? Push down. All right. Yeah, there's a couple little repairs and things to hang up, and then we'll start moving in all the new stuff we just brought. When we first got the, this property, that garage apartment was an absolute mess. Like, you couldn't even get to the backyard because it was so overgrown and just like pretty much completely abandoned. And like, we did pretty much everything in that back house ourselves. We let the professionals do the front house. They did a great job. But like in the back house, me and my dad did the, my mom too. We did the flooring, we did the drywall, we did the tile. We didn't do the windows. We had somebody come do the windows so that like the exterior would be fine. We did the countertops, we painted. Like we did pretty much everything cosmetic except for plumbing, electrical, and then exterior. And it's disappointing to see like how trashed the guy left it, but it's also encouraging to like still own an asset that I could have just rented back out on long term for 700 a month, but now we're gonna see what happens on short term. And um, yeah, it's just exciting to like own something that's an asset, even if something goes wrong. It's like, it's not the end of the world because we still own the asset itself. Does that make sense? All I hear go get the money, so I go get it. Get it, get it. Hate means I do something right, right. so I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them, yeah. Oh yeah, also, we made and painted these shutters and installed them on the house. Just as a little extra touch. I think you over tighten that. Was it bent? Wait, wait, the mic didn't catch that. What'd you say? <laughs> he said I'm right, y'all. Ah, I was gonna say, don't get me. Did I get you? No, you didn't. I missed you? You missed me, because I seen you coming. Can I you did. move? It was, now it's in there, now. Dad, you see how I didn't over tighten that? Very demure, very mindful. You don't know what that means, do you? I ain't about challenges. All I hear, go get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let him, yeah, 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 I'ma let him. I hit the nail on the head, yeah. Is that for the side of this one? Yes. Okay, cool. We just got a new Airbnb booking. I gotta figure out 
what to do. It's for October 26 and 27. But why doesn't it have a cleaning fee? I must have not put the cleaning fee on that Let's book, go get it that thing. And let her know. We can set it up for the future, but. I Girl, I thought you were saying a rat. <laughs> I thought you were saying a rat. I could say that the cleaning fee for some reason didn't get applied, but I don't even know how we would adjust that on her booking. So we gotta get this tree trimmed up, but you can see that's the back house. And then this is the front house. We need to get like a perimeter put on the deck so that no one can fall off. Um, but we're also considering putting this one on Airbnb because even though the tenant did not destroy it and do drugs, they were still a long-term tenant and they're pretty rough on it. And maybe it'll just be better to have it on Airbnb. So I don't know if her kids put holes in the walls and they tried to patch them or what they were doing there. You can see that the floor is super dirty. All the dishes from the back house were putting through the dishwasher because there's no dishwasher back there. But like, it's just super grimy. Like, look at this. Just brand new. Nobody ever lived here. Yeah, she was the first person in here. Like, look at what brand they did new. to these. Somehow they got all of these off. The ceiling fan is not only disgusting, but they broke that blade. You can see it's like up at a weird angle. I don't know what the heck they were doing to the front door. My dad's the only one brave enough to open the fridge. I think one of the boys cleaned it out. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Water. I thought the bugs were moving. I thought they were running. My bad, my bad. Yeah, they're dead. Ugh! Hold on. Okay, well now. We've got the living room area all set up. Tomorrow we need to clean the bathroom. And then transitioning into the bedroom area. All the sheets and blankets and towels are being washed, so those will be on this. We'll get the bed made and the art hung up. We got that. The fridge needs to get cleaned out, and that's just trash. That'll get out of here. Kitchen area. Um, this new one is getting installed tomorrow. All the dishes will get set up and countertop cleared. So it's looking way, 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 way better than it did before. And I was a little ambitious to say that we would get it completely done today, um, especially because we don't have the bed frame and a couple of other little things. But I would say we're like 90% of the way there. Wi-Fi gets installed tomorrow. We'll install some more lighting outdoors. Um, and then we should be done. And we'll paint, repaint the shutters a little bit. All right, drop your questions for me in the comments if you haven't already seen part one of this video or the vlog where you see how the tenant left it when he went to jail. I'll link those right here as well as down below. And uh, see you in the next one.